see when I get the strength to leave you. You always tell me that you need me. And I wait cause I believe you. And I'm mad because I love you. So I stop to think that maybe you will learn to appreciate me. And it all remains the same. That you ain't ever gonna change, never gonna change. I don't know who's that for. So if that's a Shanti, I'm foolish. Somebody's foolish about you. Somebody here could feel like you're stuck in your ways, you're never going to change, or you feel like this about this person. This person's aware of that, but they know, somebody here know you got a soft spot for them. Child, you might be in trouble. That's what she said. You just might be in trouble. Um, They know that you could be fed up. Um, They know that you love them. Mm. Somebody here could want you in this energy. Okay, messages for the collective, child. What is going on, honey? We're going to have to take a look at you. Get in here. Okay, these are general messages for the collective. So, any take what is for you, simply leave what is not yours. I'll be reading all the signs and the energy that I see here for you guys, okay? Um, I did your sun reading. We have a sun in Leo. So, um, make sure that you check that out. You know, we are in the new world. It's all about connecting to the sun as well. So make sure you're getting that message. It's also in on your uh, areas only placements, love tarot as, as, as well. Okay, all right. If you don't know already, I am your shaman empress, AKA <laughs> the shaman hummingbird. All right, I'll be reading all the signs and energy that is here for you. I will also be able to imitate anything in your energy so you will know when I am talking to you. All right. Um, whatever's happening here can be happening physically and or spiritually. All right. So let's see. Let's go. That's just for the collective. Somebody here is like, why you hurt me? All I do is. It's like all they do is give you a heart. All you do is tear it up. Looking out my window. Even when I pack my bags. You have packed your bags and tried to leave this person before. For some of you guys, the Ace of Swords, baby, that's the truth. Oh, my gosh. For some of you guys, um, this is somebody new you're dealing with. Maybe you've been going through a lot with this new person. Yeah, you got a lot invested in this person. Now, for others of you guys, I'm seeing somebody here, you're waiting for the truth from somebody. Like their authenticity about the situation between you and them. To so source, this could be an airbender, Jemena, Libra, and Aqua Aquarius. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Yep, five of cups. Because you were disappointed in something. Scorpion energy. Eight of pentacles. Some of you guys are, are waiting for somebody to give you the truth of why it's it, they're not working it on it with you. Because they feel like they got you. Somebody's not putting in work because they feel like they got you. Because they keep playing foolish from a Shanti. They know you want to leave. They even know you have tried to leave. But they know that you can't leave them. Or you're not in that place yet. Child, we bought that. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys also, it's like, that's what's going on. Yep, two of swords. They know this is also somebody here that could be upset. They know you go back and forth, Libra and energy in your mind, you know, about walking away. I won't be surprised if the eight of cups show up. Yep, the five of cups is here twice. I feel like both of you guys have been disappointed. Two cards. The seven of cups and the king of cups. So for some of you guys, this is why somebody here know it's like, that this is what you want. They might not tell you that they they are. Excuse me, guys. Spiritual hiccups. Ooh, child. Channeling y'all's energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they already know. That's why they keep their options open. Because they know this about you. About the situation. I feel like they also know that they're a cause of it. For some of you guys, there's a feminine energy. A female, but she's in her masculine. She could be an alpha. That you're dealing with. Yep, five of pentacles. This person knows that you want to leave them out in the cold. I'm seeing five, five, five. Some of you guys are 80s babies. You could be 90s babies. 
I'm hearing a whole, uh, like an 80s, 90s commercial. I don't know why. Five, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Five, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Okay. So you will know if that's you. Okay. We got the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Somebody here know that it's like their offer. It's not worth it. Or you don't think it's worth it. With the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Mm-mm. It has no value. So that's why they're keeping their options open. I feel like this is somebody that knows that you love them. The Five of Wands. Yeah. I feel like it's too much. You want to let go of all this arguing, fighting, toxicity uh, with, with, with this person. I feel like this is somebody that's immature. That's why their cup's not big enough. It's like you guys are having very Kendrick-like energy. Because at the end of the day, they are the king of cups. And you, uh, I'm sorry, I feel like you're the king of cups, they're the knight of cups. So it's like, they're just immature. So y'all have like a vibe. What's this? The nine of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you guys, it's like you are, I feel like you are close to really walking away from this person. Yeah, you are. The seven of pentacles are two, because you got a king of ones coming in. And that's when you're going to cut this person off. You're tired of going back and forth. That's the truth. Two of Pentacles, you're tired of feeling juggled. This person can pick up. Both of you guys have strong water placements. Scorpion, Leo, Aqua Aries, Piscean. Energy is what I'm picking up. I feel like this is also somebody here that feels like they kind of owe you an apology or they're going to try to give you one in the future, but maybe you're not going to accept it. Or they like, no, they, I feel like this is apology long overdue. I'm seeing seven, seven, five, five. I'm seeing, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do seven, seven, five, five. Yep, that's a one, one on the clock as I said that. So let's get your angelic number, then we're going to go a little deeper. Okay, 7755, if you want to love and be loved, damn. I feel like you know you got to do this if you want real love or you feel like you're just going to be playing with the Knight of Cups. And it's like the offer is cute, but it's really, I, I don't want to say it as being negative, but it's beneath you. You could have healed enough. Your vibration, your frequency is too high. This new person, whoever you're connecting with here, is just immature. That's the truth. Now, you've got new energy coming in as well. It's also something I'm seeing for some of you guys. You got like a new person here. I feel like both of you guys are disappointed because you want it. And it's like maybe you, you feel each other. Y'all got a vibe, but this person might have to, like some growing up to do. The truth is this person also goes back and forth in their head. Now, there's something here about a fight, an argument that could have been said that you could have also, you know, somebody here feels like you, you know, you, you owe them an apology. Okay. We're going to switch it up and use two cards for confirmation tonight. Let's see what's going on. Oh, child. Yep, the moon card. They had it all. They, they had it, though. All right. I want to see the five of cups. What's the five of cups? What's the five of cups? Scorpion energy. Libra and energy. All my water benders are here. Cancer and Piscean Scorpion. Gemini, Libra, and Aqua Aries. I think I already said that. Show me. Uh, what's the Five of Cups? Oh, oh, oh. Things not coming together. Nope. When it comes to this relationship. The house is unorganized and a mess. Yep. The Queen of Cups and the Nine of Ones. You have became so guarded with your cup. I feel like you were the Queen of Cups and then... You could have gotten guarded and it put you in your masculine and a king of cups. 
What's the five of cups? What I was picking up earlier. This puts you in your masculine energy too. This person knows that. You could also be quick to cuss their ass out. Like, look, don't fucking play with me. Okay? They know all that. That's a lot. Can I get a couple of backhand homes there, please? If not, then I know I could... Um, guys, I'm going to try to get a couple cards. If I can't, then um, I know I have to read all of them. But I'm going to try to narrow it down a little bit. What's the Five of Cups? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Higher Fun. You have some of you guys start slowing this down. You have the Knight of Swords. You're like, you know what? Somebody, I feel like this is you. You're like, you know, maybe I'm moving too fast. This could have been something you was thinking. You have the Three of Pentacles. Um, also, you got other people. You have Two of Pentacles. You need to be careful of other people. Mm-hmm. There's other, like, friends and family that's involved in this that could be saying shit, putting shit in your head. They do want you to... Your friends and family want you to start talking to somebody else. Just the fuck they do. The death card. Because mm -mm. they could see you as an empress. They know they know you deserve more. This, yep, judgment. This person also could know that. Yeah, what's the other disappointment here? What's the five of cups? I feel like this is somebody here that could have been also... Uh, mad that you let friends and family in or vice versa. Uh, somebody here feels like friends and family shouldn't be in y'all's business. Um, yep, the four cups. Now, this person has cried. They're disappointed. Yep, the hangman. I knew this. <laughs> they showed me this. Damn, I hate when I just don't say this shit. Now, somebody here wears a man unit. Okay? There could be a man here that wears a man unit. I don't know if you know that. Alright, and that's. Uh, I'm just saying that's just confirmation if that's you. Okay? Seven of Swords, because I don't want to get, you know, that's, you know. I had a friend that I had dated somebody for a long time before she uh, knew, like, certain things that was part of his get up. Okay, and it took her a while to combine that in me. Um, but, you know, and I got all, you know what they say, you know what the ancestors say with the... Okay, it's an old school saying, you don't know nobody until you live with them or have a baby. They end up moving in together, so there it is, right? <laughs> you gonna find out some shit about um, here. But somebody here also wears like a cover-up or something. They could also be covering up a boss spot. This could be also somebody that's doing things to cover up like a, a hair loss. Now, someone here at Seven of Swords feel like you're, like, sneaky. Like, they are very disappointed. They are kind of stuck in their feelings about, I feel like, this whole situation. And about gossip around family or something like that. Yep, Queen of Swords. Okay, about what they found out just this year. Knight, yep, here it is. Knight of Wands and the Five of Wands and the King of Wands. Ooh! Ooh! Now, somebody here could have stepped out, or this is why somebody stepped out. Yeah. Then maybe they owe you an apology. It's also something I'm getting. I told you, the Page of Cups. Yeah, they feel like they owe you an apology. Yeah, because y'all y'all were better than that. The Will of Fortune and the Knight of Cups. I told you, just like, y'all were better than that. Okay. They feel this, like, connection. All right, yeah, honey, but they were they were seeing other options. Somebody here was also in people's inbox online. You have the two of cups. They was hooking up with people online and shit like that. They could have been um, something like that could have been here. I mean, I guess that's the new, you know, everybody's online. So something like that. Give me some more tea over here. They're in their head. Yup. Looking you up. Oh, girl fight. So you got, I'm telling you. So you got, you got somebody that this person was all like. So, so whoever they hooked up online, they might not like you, obviously. They could want to store some shit. Yup, forcer. They could want to start a fight with you. I don't know, I feel like because this person's into you. Yup, they want to threaten you. Damn.
Now, for some of you guys, you could have got like, I don't know if this is like um, inboxes or messenger or something from somebody that this person was fucking with. Maybe this is how you found this out. Show me something else up here, please. Yeah, obsessive lover. Spiritual hater. This person don't like your, like, intuition or some shit like that. Yeah, because it gives you, like, inside scoop. Or just you getting confirmation from, like, you know, readings or your energy. Some of you guys are empaths. You might even pull your own cards or some shit like that. Okay, we got Coralis. You could have quit letting this person, like, take your car or some shit. Did, you, did this person, like, meet up with people and was hooking up with somebody in your car? Maybe this is what y'all was fighting about or something for some of you guys. And they're mad that you could have told friends and family they told you to quit fucking around with this person. And it's like, I don't know who this part is for. They're mad that, you know, they're in y'all's, like, business or something. What's the two of swords? I'm sorry, show me the five of ones, please. Show me the five of ones. Child, the nine of cups in reverse. The nine of swords. Yep, the hangman. It put them in a hangman position. Someone here feels like you're like letting your friends and family control this. But I feel like they're just trying to give you good advice because they care about you. Yep, seven of pentacles. About what you're invested in. That's what I feel. That's exactly what I'm feeling here. What's the Ace of Swords? The Eight of Swords. So the truth that like... So you found out that this person was cheating on you. But this person was keeping their options open because they felt like you was about to walk away or they knew you was about to walk away. So this is why they did this. Yep, the Moon card. So their secrets is, is, is being... Yeah, what they was doing. So this person is blaming you. It's like, and they're saying this, they already knew this because of what's going on with the family, the friends, or shit that's being said. What's the two, what's the, um, I'm sorry, show me the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles. So they, this is somebody that was planning to leave you out in the cold before you left them out in the cold because they already knew about this tower. Yeah, something got back to this person. as well also all the arguing and fighting somebody could have said that's why my cousin such and such said to quit fucking with you or something like that yep the four swords so this person could have fell back yep and got real defensive what's the two of swords what's the two of swords damn I feel like somebody here knew they was wrong, got caught doing whatever the fuck they thought they was doing, and you was going to walk away from them. They already got that feeling. They already kind of figure out what was going on, what's being said behind friends and family that got mad. It's like, how you mad that I'm expressing myself to my friends and family, but you're doing me wrong? I feel like you just did this like for support or something, is what I'm getting. But they're mad. And I feel like the only reason why they're mad because... It, it shows light to their bullshit. What's the two of swords? What they were doing, what they were invested in. Yep, the knight of swords and the queen of wands. Now you feel like, yep, you moving away. You feel like you have, you feel this. You about to go. This person already knows this. This could be somebody here that just leaves the situation as well, though. Let's see what else is going on. Yep. Damn. When things get tough, this person looks for outlets. They could also use sex as an outlet. That's what you found out for some of you guys. Now, you could have got into it with somebody online. They got in your inbox. Y'all could have argued. 
fought, was threat, was fighting, you know, arguing, threatening each other and shit behind this person. It's like they got shit. It's like, and this all could have happened in your car. Child, man. You could have found out this was happening in your court. Yeah, that's why you're giving yourself self-love and you're going to focus on your goals. Because you, this person, it's like you you, you could have felt like you cursed yourself with this person. It's been nothing but bad luck or something like that. Yep, savings. Yeah, it's, a fuck, it's, 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 it's affecting your money. It's affecting your abundance. Yeah. Some of you guys can't get relaxed. Some of you guys can't get like a good night's sleep or something. Too much is on your mind. Some of you guys could have felt like this person always wanted your car or, you know, it's like, some of you guys got a nice car. You might know that's one of the things that this person, it, like, likes, you know, about y'all's thing. You know, they can have car to car is nice, decent car. It's like some of you guys are, in, you're introvert. This could have caused you to be, like, a little introverted because you were mad. You were angry. Some of you guys are, like, sleeping separate. In the same bed, but y'all feel like totally disconnected. And that could have been made it things uneasy. You might have also, you know, could tell that this person, y'all in the bed, they're on fucking line. And come to find out for some of you guys, that's what the fuck they was doing. With your shit. The fuck? And you got every reason to be mad. Yeah, now they scared. I feel like somebody here has hit a point of no return or they feel like they know like they didn't fuck this shit up. Yeah, look at this breakup. Y'all, they already know. Secret and matter. I feel like this person has feelings for you or they're always going to have like a special place in like their heart for you. But they know you're, you're like, I feel like a lot of you guys are getting to the point where you're fucking fed the fuck up. Like, you just done. Like, I'm not going to keep, like, I'm done. If you either you're here or you're not. If you're, you know, y'all, we got to get through the good and the bad, period. Everybody's here for the good. It's when it's bad, when you see people's true characters. I feel like that's what's going on. A lot of you guys are just seeing that and just, like, walking away. And I feel like this person already know it's done. If this person, for some of you guys, this might be somebody here that just ends up disappearing, ghosting you. But did they really ghost you? You feel me? It's like they already know it's a wrap or they already know you're on your way out the door. So they just kind of like left. What else is going on here? What's your feelings and emotions? Oh. Energy. Yep, they felt the energy. The energy was, they already know. The energy, you already know. Yep, decisions and options. And they've been thinking a lot, yeah. This person has been thinking a lot. Decisions, yeah, self-love. I feel like you're choosing self-love. But this person is like commitment, healing, guidance in reverse, yeah. I feel like somebody here had an opportunity to really show you something. Or try to heal a commitment or show you they at least wanted this. Yeah. I told you, dating and romance and apology. Now, this person knows they owe you an apology. It's like, they'll know like they know they was wrong. Somebody here cannot take accountability for their actions. And say they were wrong. It might be really hard. Maybe this is somebody that don't apologize. But they know they owe you an apology. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. Somebody here wants to apologize about their attitude too. About the way they were making you feel. Some of you guys could have tried to go out. Or like things could have got bad. Maybe you could have tried to fix things at one point in time. Was spending time with each other. There could have been like maybe y'all were arguing when y'all were out. Y'all could have argued at an amusement park. Y'all could have argued if you have a child or something like that. Maybe y'all were outside just fucking cussing each other the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> All right, I mean, I'm picking that up. Someone here could have also won you a stuffed animal out out at like a um amusement park or a fair or a festival. This could be a fair. 
I'm seeing white and red. This, this could have been around like um, um, Valentine's Day. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I had a little brain for it, y'all. Valentine's Day. What's the written messages here? Also, um, now, you could have helped bail this person out of jail before. It's like there's just so much shit. This is why the family's not supporting this person. And then they do this. It's like... What's the written messages here? Mm -mm. Yeah, see? <laughs> Spooling you. Emotional intimacy. You are mine. Mother wounds. This person has mother wounds. That's why. They could have problems trusting women. Because of what they, you know, things they could have saw from their mother, what they've been through with their mom. But they know no one compares to you. This is someone here that's like, well, you still listen to them. Oh, this could have been, oh, this was an ex for some of you guys that's resonating with this part. This was an ex that they could have hooked, with, hooked up with online. I could have made it. Oh, no, that makes sense. Why they're so threatened by you and want to, like, you got an ex that, this person's ex want to fight you. Now, if this person could have, like, pillow talked to their ex about you in this situation, they could have went back to somebody or they're just talking to this person again. I feel like there's a corny ass ex here. I really do. See, y'all soulmates, though. I knew that with the fate when I faded came out. This person got mother and father wounds, child. This person, yeah. This person could have problems with their mom and father. Now, for some of you guys, maybe you have the father wounds, they have the mother wounds, or this could be vice versa. But y'all are soulmates. So that's the lesson. That's also what the connection was. Y'all both come from a situation. Yours could have been their, your dad. Theirs could have been their mom. But y'all were soulmates that were supposed to actually, like, work together, heal each other, help each other. But they fucked up. Yeah. Let's get some love oracles. Okay. So, they're showing me this deck here. Now, somebody here, they could feel like right now maybe y'all are done, but there's unfinished business or something. Yeah, see, you affected this person. We got times now. They have um, times together that they think about that you guys have shared or something like that. But you're going to have the last laugh. Even though it might not feel like that at the moment. Okay. What's the love oracles here? Aftermath is fuck you. Just somebody is saying that. I feel like this is you, child. Some of you guys got y'all spiritual braces on and shit. Y'all ain't out here playing. Yeah, because all this shit, this person, the skeletons came out of somebody's closet. Yeah. Who do you love? In this deck, this card is about two people. Somebody dating two people and you found this out. Somebody here was still fucking with their ex. And they pillow talking about you to them. Yeah. So they, this is like, this was, I mean, mental, emotional spells. And that's why you walked away. Yeah, but they still think about times y'all shared together. This was a karmic, I'm telling you, forbidden fruit and a karmic. This is the karmic energy card. This is the karmic card in this deck. Right here. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Mind spells, mental spells about um this other person. This person still had attached to their ex. And I've got to, I've got to say something. Sorry, y'all. Spiritual hiccups. This person could have been stunting with this ex in your car. Someone here also has a license to carry. Or this is someone here that carries. They don't play. They might always make sure they have protection or something like that. Now, I'm trying not to go there, but I know they didn't pick up this person in your car. Okay. 
child. This. Mm -mm. Oh, what's the universal messages? Let's see what the universal messages are for you here. Because they didn't try it. We got L and we got the second second uh, choir. Some of you guys are connected to the chair bombs. You could be an Israelite. I feel like you could have tried to help this person. And I do, for some of you guys, this could have been like bailing them out of jail. You could have like supported this person when they were going through shit in their fucking life when they didn't have their mom or their father. Something like that. Yep, Archangel Brackel guard, was guarding this. Yeah, he don't play. And some of you guys know Archangel Bra Brackel and Michael run together, so you know that. Mm-hmm. We got S. Yeah. Ciao. Mm-mm. So, yeah, they betrayed you. What the f mask? I feel like you 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 know the truth about this person, but they betrayed you. That's crazy. Yeah, sacred lust, betrayal. You know, whatever this ex, this situation with this ex, it's lust. It's not love. They have like. This could be like a trauma bond or, or something. I'm not, I'm not, it could be a soul tab, but I'm not really seeing that too much. I'm seeing more of a trauma bond. Some people don't understand why they're together. Some people think they're together and they don't even understand like what keeps them together. Sometimes it's trauma bonds that connects people. I will just get a little deeper in that, but I don't want this to be any longer, guys, so it can upload. We got cosmic power. Yeah. I feel like uh, scarcity. This is also somebody here that um, uh, you could have got spiritually attacked from this person. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This was a spiritual attack. Yup. As well. Mm, what else? Yep, sacred lust from somebody else. This could they have a uh, somebody that could have spiritually sent you like a spiritual attack, since like negative energy to you. You could you could have got like a attack from this person. Now some of you guys have also um, I'm picking up like boo heck energy. You need to be careful. You need to cleanse your space. You also have to watch when people are attacking. Uh, see if this person was cheating on you with this person. This is exactly how you could have got spiritually attacked. You have to watch that. Yep, wounded healer. Yep. And I feel like you're healing from that, or you healed that. See, they have sacred lust for this person, but they have desires for you. Because you're our soulmates. Yeah, there's like some kind of trauma bond or something going on here, guys. Oh my goodness, okay. I just saw tension and arguing. It's like, yeah. Now, somebody here also, you maybe you're like, you got to go. Maybe they got to go stay with a family or a cousin. I feel like, you know, maybe they also express this to an ex. Okay. What's the sense of planets, child? Mm. I feel like you putting this person in their place, though. Whether this is a man or a woman. Invitation. Vision. Yeah. Uh, this person has gotten down. I f I'm telling you, this person knows. They have also gotten like some... It's like they know that you were like leaving them. Yup, 10 tiles. This person had to leave. Move out. Yeah, y'all got roots together in a partnership. But they were fucking around. And they thought they was going to be able to get away with this. Yep, but it's over now. Karmic. Karmic energy. Mm. Eight tile scorpion. Okay, death energy. I feel like this is also changed somebody. 
Yeah, see, this is this 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 person here is definitely sending you spiritual attack. You could have also been getting like um, nightmares. You have to be careful with energy when people are cheating on you, stepping out on you, because they they bring that energy back home. Yeah. All right, I love you all. Um, I hope this helps you out in more than one way. Um, I feel like um, this is somebody that's going to jump shit because they know you already want to walk away because you're tired of bullshit, but then they're going to try to turn around and blame everything on you. I also feel like this is someone that's going to try to get their ex to fight you. Or they're going to put things in a sense of a way to make their ex feel some kind of way and want to fight you. I do feel like this is also someone that could, like, enjoy, like, you know, ex-girlfriends or people fighting over them. I love you all. Stay dope. Okay, we're going to shut it down right there. Um, hit that like button, guys. Make sure that you are doing that, getting our algorithm out, our messages out in the algorithm, excuse me. <laughs> all right, so our other trap members are getting that. Thank you for all your lovely support, donations, uh, frequency, love vibration to the channel we are also open for personal reading so if you need anything personal from me everything you need to know is down below all right also don't forget to hit that bell baby hit all make sure you're always tapped in till then so you're notified when your messages are ready for you stay dope i'll catch you in your next video upload i'll show you name one.